Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Spyro the Dragon, part, uh, 14, I think this is? Anyways, uh, we have, uh, a person helping me do this commentary. Hello. I'm here to help out with the magic that Spyro. Yep, this is abstract, man. Yes. My channel's been pretty inactive recently, but maybe that'll change. Maybe. Maybe, that's the hope. I've been I've been pretty uh lazy when it comes to actually knocking oh, out content. Shit. And I just got squashed. <clears throat> oh yeah guys, uh uh Abstract man over here maybe on a bit of a delay because whenever I've experienced screen sharing I always remember it was a bit delayed. I don't know, are you getting much delay? Um I don't know. I, sure I guess you really I guess you really can't tell because there's no like Yeah. Okay, okay. You see me just flame that arrow. Yeah. Okay, then we're yeah. really not on much of a delay then. I think this maybe, is maybe actually... a couple seconds, but it, it seems pretty it's, pretty good. It's real time. Yeah. Time. Uh, uh, this game, like, it's weird. I, I look at it and I see see the graphics are kind of kind of bad, but at the same time, it, it really looks nice with how how it's, the game is. It's spy it's Spyro One though. Like, you can't be like, oh, these graphics are shit. No, because like the times, this was considered pretty good. I was expecting anti-aliasing. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I fell like, down there. The best of the best. <laughs> oh boy. Oh shit. I'm never that good with these guys. This is actually probably one of my favorite levels because I don't fuck it up regularly, unlike the other ones that I do fuck up regularly. I I always sucked at Spyro. Oh shit. So. That was stupid. I don't even know why I did that. I always sucked at Spyro and Mario. I mean. I, I could do well. I wasn't like brilliant at it though. <laughs> for some reason. Latif. Latif. Up the good works, what a great name I for a dragon. He's really <laughs> starting to worry about you. This is like the third time I've rescued Latif. What what kind of dragon gets constantly like captured? I don't know. Considering I only saw Nasty Nork send out the, like, crystal shit once to freeze everyone. Now, and just just ignore the little dragon who's destroying everything for you. Yep, pretty much. Oh, that was not a short song. It's already not. It's already looping back through. Anyways, uh... Uh... Try it. There was something I was gonna say, and now I'm completely like trying to gain it back. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Um, this overall is a pretty short level. In fact, I think the majority of the levels in this in this world are actually very short. I'm actually pretty much on the very last world now. In Spyro, oh, nice. so luckily, did I not pick up a gem pack here? Yep. Um, the majority of these are pretty short. I guess that's. Pretty much a good thing. This one overall is actually pretty short. Most, like, I don't know, the levels were getting to the point where they, I, I actually, one of them, I spent an entire day doing one level. Wow, they, was it just really in depth or just extremely long? Well, I kept on fucking up where I was supposed to go and it wasn't uh, as straightforward. But That's always like, that's, that's part of the reason why I never really completed any Spyro games, because I got kind of confused on what to do. Oh, now I remember what I was originally going to say. I was going to say, Spyro 1 is actually the easiest of all of the... of all of the Spyros. Oh, really? Yeah. Never never knew that. Yep. Wow. It's pretty... It's actually pretty easy. Um, at least, I, I think so, in terms of, like, completion and shit. Like... Spy actually, you know what? Spyro 2 is actually not that hard in completion either. It's just a lot of backtracking. That's what, oh. what would kill you. Yeah, just... But 
I actually beat Spyro 2 100%, and that's actually the only Spyro I've ever actually done. I don't think I've ever actually beaten this one 100%, but, you know, you really, you really don't need practice to beat this one completely. All you have to do is just go through every single level, collect all the gems, collect all the dragons, collect all the eggs. There's not even any dragon eggs after World 3, they stop putting thieves out, so... Wow, that... I wonder if the creators just got a little lazy, or... Yeah, I don't, I don't know decided. what happened there. They just, they literally took out like an entire game mechanic once you get past World Three. I don't even understand why, because you could actually do. Well, I guess you should take that back. World Four, there's one level where you have it, but they don't, they don't have dragon eggs. They just have really high value gems that they steal. Yeah, mm. I don't know. Out of like classic games that you you can play, I think I'd have to go with Crash Bandicoot, probably being my favorite. Just yeah. Go wrong with Crash. I think, though, to be honest, I think Crash would actually be a harder game to 100%. Oh yeah, uh, they have like so Spyro. many. Spyro. It's just so many different like gems and stuff. Well, it's just because well the gem thing is what really screws it over, especially like the original Spyro is outrageous in terms of. Or not the, or the original Spyro, the original Crash, the first one, is actually, like, it's outrageous in how much, like, you have to get, like, uh, correct in order to get gems. You have to collect all the boxes, but on top of collecting all the boxes, you also have to beat the world in one go, and if you die at all, you have to restart. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and some of those levels are fucking hard. I, I don't know, I think Crash 1... It's kind of like Portal 1. It was more of like a prototype than it was like an actual game. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Um, Cause I don't, yeah. I don't play much Portal. T I don't play much Portal 1 like at all anymore. Like it was a fun yeah. game, but Portal 2 is just like superior in like every the, single the, way. The storyline I thought was like fantastic for Portal 2. Of course, I, Steam Steam being weird for me, I, I can't play it. I Maybe think, it's just my computer. There's actually, uh, there's, a, there's a couple things you can actually do. Um, if you go into the, into Steam under, uh, you know, when you open up your C drive, and then you see System, and then from, it's yeah. like System and System x86, and then from there, yeah. you can open it Yeah, up. like go into like Steam apps and all that. Is that, uh, is there only 400 gems in this? Wow. Did I get all the wow. dragons? Yeah? Yeah, 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 you did. That was a pretty short level. That was very short. But you'll see something called the Steam Client Bob Blob or something, or it's like a dot blob file, I don't really know. It's something yeah, that it you use to start familiar. up. But what you can do is um you can actually uh uh you rename it to like Steam Client Old dot bob and then when you restart it it creates a new file so Sometimes, it depends, like, are you having issues, like, launching it, or... Um, it's more of, uh... Like, the game won't work? Um, yeah, like, when I play custom, uh, maps, I guess, and when I try to play the game, it just crashes. Just shuts off. Yeah, I'm just gonna make a commentary. There's no way any children's game today would allow, like, some dude just, like, shooting up a fucking Tommy gun. And this, this was like yeah, you can't do that anymore. This was fucking E. Yeah. You even hear then, him then, like cock the gun, and then he like. Then shooting. then you hear uh, then then you go back to like Sly one or Sly two, even Sly three. Oh, yeah, there were just, a like, lot of guns in that game. So it's outrageous so how much many. shit they got away with. I know it, it. Those were like the good days of children games. Or, and like personally, I, I think the ESRB is kind of retarded. Uh, I don't. Yeah. I don't like anything they ever agree on ever, because they always go overboard. And like, instead of them just kind of like revising their material, it's like, oh no, every single game now has to be M. We can't just like change our rules or anything. Right. And there's some games that I, I'm like, this should not be M, because like, uh. They probably put Star Wars Battlefront one and two as M for violence or something, given their their guidelines now. Like I don't know. I think 
Thank and, you for releasing me. And a lot has to do with like uh a lot has to do with, like, does it have, like, gore? Because usually if it just has, like, violence, then it's just tea. But if it has, like, gore, then... Yeah. I don't know. Which, their definition of gore is kind of, like, bad. Like, I've... It, like, Grand Theft Auto says gore, but I don't think it was really, like... The worst scene in GTA V was the torture scene. And, like, maybe like, that would be the only like, reason. when he's, like, on the meat hooks and stuff? Uh, no, like, when you're Trevor, and, and you have to like pour gasoline on this one guy's head and then you like pull out a tooth or uh, something. It was... Oh yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's when you're yeah, working was... for the better F FIB. The... Oh, I F wonder what agency that's supposed to be. Oh, I have no clue. <laughs> but, I mean, besides that, the game had like pretty much no gore. There was blood, but I wouldn't say gore. Ah, I see. Use the drawbridge. There are some gems back here I'm supposed to get, I know that. It's like lava pouring out into the water. That can't be safe. Health and safety would have a field day with that. I don't think that's EPA approved. Yeah, EPA, EPA, they wouldn't like it. Uh, let's see. Good old, good I think old, there's a firework. Shit, shit, shit. I did not jump off of that properly. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. Yeah, let's go. See, this is why it always takes me so fucking long to get through this game, because I have to, like... If I fuck up, I have to do this. There was actually, like, a section, though. I did say I was going to like cut out, and then I never actually cut it out in the final two. So. Yeah, that. Did you just forget about it, or just like. Yeah, I kind of forgot yeah. about it once I like. did it. Yeah, I've, I've done that before. Of course, also, like, I've just totally scrapped the whole video because <laughs> I just didn't care for it. Like, maybe five minutes of it. But the, the pains of video editing. Video editing. <laughs> See, I really don't do much video editing other than audio levels. Uh, luckily, if I record videos to a certain format, I can adjust my microphone level in relation to the system audio. So. Yeah, that. I mean, that that's helpful. Um, usually, what I'll do is, like, for video editing, is like I'll just depending on what the video is, I'll add maybe an intro, um, some weird transition, and some music, but that, for, for maybe like a Minecraft survival let's play, I would do that, like add music in the background, but otherwise, I, there's not much to do. I just, I don't know, I don't, I don't have an intro just because I've never really like dealt with it. I don't know, like, I've never had one. It's just something I've never really... I'm not good at... I don't, like, know what my intro would be. I guess that's part yeah. of it. Yeah. Um, I don't know, for, for the survival let's play, I know what I did was... I, I'd, like, do, like, some maybe five-second thing where it would have some music playing and it would just kind of be, like, survival Shit, no, let's play or something. No! And... It would just have music, and then once it got to the actual like, part where I'm talking, Shit. it would, like, the volume would go down for the music, and that, that'd be pretty much it. But I've been using, I used uh, music from this guy on YouTube. It's like, I forget, I forget the full name is, I think it's like the Adhesive Wombat or something. But he did makes you all this. permission? Yes, I did. Um, uh, he said, like, you can use this without my permission, but I asked anyways. Oh, fuck, uh, I'm dead again. <laughs> Tits. I am doing so badly right now, I don't even know why. Stupid frogs. Um, but yeah, he, like, he makes all this really weird, like, techno oh, background shit. music. Die! They're killing you with, uh, like, triangles, pretty much. 
They're not even bullets, they're triangles. Die! Oh my dear lord. I know. That was just stupid, I should've waited. Stupid Die. triangles? Oh my god, just take out this fucker at least. Damn. I'm on the lamb. All I gotta do is take out that dude without dying, I think. I think I'm good. If it were me, I would just I would just end up dying when I go to try kill and kill him. Let's see, how many gems am I up to? Oh no, there's some other fucking place I didn't check out. It's another 400. There's no way this asshole has 19 gems. Now, I'm missing nine gems. My goodness. So, so, so are you like trying to get a full 100% on this let's play? Oh uh, yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm aiming for. Yeah, that's a. It's a pretty good goal, if you ask me. I'm just like I know I could do a let's play without making it 100%. It's just I feel like I should. I'm yeah, gonna... and I mean for anyone who really wants to like get that 100%, they're like, where's the last few gems or something? I mean. Yeah, you know I've that way that I, can, I can consider this like a walkthrough then as well. Yeah, because um. Like, I got a 100% on Sly 1 and Sly 2, and getting those clue bottles in Sly 2 was pretty difficult at times, and I- Aren't they, like, YouTube. scattered across the, the like, home world? Yeah, across, yeah, across the map and stuff. It was, um, pretty well designed. I, like, second one is my favorite game in the Sly series. In the third one, they didn't have clue bottles. The fourth one, they brought them back, but I didn't think the rewards were- good enough for uh, going out of your way just to collect all these clue bottles. I think they're, they just kind of like died on trying to resurrect the clue bottles. They just did not like deliver. Yeah. But yeah, it wasn't, a, shit like that wasn't a bad game. It wasn't a bad game. Um, it, I wouldn't replay it. What the tits? How'd I miss this? <laughs> two, two. Oh, well, that's where they were. Nine gems. Oh, no, no, no! Oh. <laughs> well, oh, man. Gosh, shit, I gotta go through this fucking thing again. Oh, well, you can just. Hey, that of... gave me a butterfly. That's actually more needed than any fucking dots that they give you half the time. Just. Uh, shove your Tommy gun up your fucking ass. Rage. Rage all the Spyro. <laughs> Rage. It's just I I. Oh wow! I hit two. Okay. Well, I yeah. just need to finish now. I think this is gonna end up being the last video for now. And to be honest, the next video is gonna be the last video we have because the next one is Nasty Nork, which is the Nasty Nork, the last video in the entire thing. And let's see, if we can that. It actually gives me all the gems in the home world. Right? Yep. All the gems. Yeah. Now all we have to do is get all the gems in Nasty Nork, and we're actually at... Well, we're not at 100% then. There's another fucking dragon in here. Yeah, Looks like a hippo's it. face. Oh, no, you can oh, see I can it. see it words. Nasty's loot. Actually, I wonder where the dragon is. I think it's in yeah. there somewhere. But you can see, Nasty's loot, that's actually the last, last level. But anyways guys, uh, thanks for watching. Check out Abstract Man, I'll put his channel in the description. Yeah. And I'll see you guys later, take care.